What if I told you there was a Fortnite player so good that his victories were often met with cheating allegations? A player who has consistently crushed FNCS and cash cups from an astonishingly young age, and whose name is now known across the competitive Fortnite scene. This player is Reason. But his story didn't come without controversy. So in this video, I'm going to be going over the rise, fall, and rise again of Reason Anon. And to truly understand Reason's rise to fame, we have to go all the way back to Germany, where his journey began on July 5th, 2005. Leonard Reason still didn't have the typical childhood. While most kids were playing sports or focusing on school, Reason was consumed by video games. From an early age, it was clear that video games weren't just a hobby for him, they were an obsession. He spent countless hours perfecting his skills in various games. Unlike many of his peers, Reason had a natural talent for gaming. So when Fortnite bursted onto the scene in 2017, it was perfect for Reason. At just 11 years old, he dove into the game head first, and it didn't take long for him to realize that Fortnite wasn't just a game, it was an opportunity. The competitive nature, fast-paced gameplay, and building mechanics played right into Reason's strengths. He quickly outperformed players much older than him. Reason's natural talent for gaming translated seamlessly into Fortnite, and by the time he was 12, he had already started to dabble in the Fortnite competitive scene. In 2019, the Fortnite World Cup qualifiers were announced, marking the beginning of what would become the most significant event in Fortnite's history. Players from all around the world would have a chance to compete for a share of $30 million, with the grand finals set to take place in New York City. For reason, this was a opportunity of a lifetime. There was just one problem, he wasn't old enough to compete. Fortnite's World Cup had an age restriction that required players to be at least 13 years old to participate in the qualifiers. Reason, being just 12 at the time, was devastated. He had the skill, the drive, and the passion to compete, but he was held back by his age. But Reason wasn't going to give up, easy. He entered the qualifiers anyway, just shy of his 13th birthday, despite being technically ineligible, Reason showed the world what he was made of. Over the course of the 10-week qualifiers, he earned money in 6 out of the 10 World Cup qualifiers, earning over $1,000 in prize money. Okay, he didn't compete in the actual finals, but I mean, at 12 years old, making $1,000 is crazy. And this marked the start of Reason's competitive career. He had proven at such a young age, he was talented and he was able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the best players in the world. After the Fortnite World Cup, Reason was more determined than ever to make a name for himself in the Fortnite competitive scene. He he continued to dominate in online tournaments, but his first major breakthrough came when he turned 13. At such a young age, Reason placed 8th in the solo cash cup earning another $1,000. But more than the money, this was the first time Reason was able to showcase his talent to the world. This was actually his first time he posted to YouTube, with a video titled 13 years old kid placed 8th in the solo cash cup. This is the first time we actually got to see Reason play competitively online. Now, I want you guys to take a step back and remember his skill level in those clips I just showed you. At the end of the video, compare that to his skill now to see how far he has come. As Reason's skill grew, so did his ambition. In November 2019, Reason finally secured his first major tournament victory, walking away with $3,500. For any player, this would have been a huge accomplishment, but for Reason, the win was clouded by controversy. Unlike other players who proudly posted their gameplay footage online, Reason remained silent about his victory. No highlight reels, no YouTube uploads, nothing. Not a pin drop. This combined with the fact that he had beaten established pros like Mr. Savage raised eyebrows in the community for some. Who was this kid who seemingly came out of nowhere, dominating tournaments without so much as a whisper? For many fans, Reason's sudden success was suspicious, and it didn't take long for rumors of cheering allegations to begin circulating. Some players speculated that Reason was using hacks or exploits to gain an unfair advantage in the game. But despite the rumors, no one could deny his talent. He had earned his victory fair and square, and he wasn't about to let the haters bring him down. Despite the controversy, Reason kept his head down and continued to grind. He wasn't interested in making a spectacle of himself. He was focused on only improving his skills and climbing the competitive ladder. While team-based FNCS tournaments posed a challenge for Reason early on, he excelled in solo competitions. His earnings from solo tournaments continued to pile up, further cementing his reputation as 
as a top player. When it came to the team game modes, however, he struggled. He found it difficult to mesh with teammates, and as a result, he often fell short in the FNCS team tournaments. But Reason wasn't discouraged. He knew that his strengths lay in solo play. I, I didn't mean to make a rhyme there. That, that, that was what I put in the script for some reason. Anyways, and he was determined to prove himself in the upcoming solo FNCS tournament. By the time Chapter 2 Season 2 rolled around, Reason had built a reputation as a skilled solo player, but he was still searching for success in team-based game modes. That's when he teamed up with Ditrix for the FNCS Duos tournament in Chapter 2 Season 2. Together, the duo fought their way through the qualifiers, eventually making it to the Grand Finals. Their top 10 finish in the Grand Finals was a huge achievement, especially considering that Reason was only 14 at the time. But he wasn't satisfied with just making it to the finals. He wanted to win. And as Fortnite announced two solo FNCS events in the coming months, Reason knew that it was his chance to make his mark. Solo tournaments were where he truly shined, and he was determined to come out on top. As Reason continued to dominate solo tournaments, the rumors of cheating that had once been a whisper began to grow louder. Fortnite is a game that rewards precision and skill, and Reason had both in spades. His aim was so accurate that many players began to question whether it was even humanly possible. Some accused him of using soft aim, a type of cheat that subtly assists a player's aim without making it obvious. And no, I'm not talking about the hardcore spin botting you see on TikTok. It's like kind of like having aim assist on keyboard and mouse. Despite the lack of concrete evidence, the allegations persisted. Every time Reason placed at the top of the leaderboard, someone would claim that he was cheating. It didn't help that Reason was relatively unknown compared to the other top players. To some, he was a mystery, an enigma who had come out of nowhere to dominate the competitive scene. But Reason wasn't about to let the rumors get to him. He kept his head down, focused on the gameplay, and continued to rack up victories. In the Chapter 2 Season 3 solo FNCS, Reason won the first qualifier finals, earning $5,000. He followed that up with a 5th place finish in the second qualifier, and easily secured a spot in the grand finals. By now, the cheating allegations only intensified, but it wasn't until later when the allegations got worse did Reason release a statement, and I'll get to that later in the video. But for now, Reason had a solo grand final to play, and he wanted to win it all. He was ready to go out there and take home the FNCS pickaxe. But Taysen said otherwise. Taysen dominated in all 6 of their games, and Reason and Taysen actually had a 1v1 in game 5. 11 eliminations, 2 of the players go down, and it's Reason, arguably the strongest solo player, wire to wire, against what is the strongest solo player on the day right now in E11's Taysen. In that little bit of Old Man Mountain, he doesn't have to be too large, but it's going to burn reasons through the last of his resources. He's standing out there spraying. No builds left, and Taysen converts, and he does so. Although Reason didn't win the game, he still placed 7th in the Grand Finals, and he took home $15,000. As Chapter 2 Season 4 approached, Reason teamed up with two powerhouse players, Aqua, the reigning Fortnite World Cup winner, and No Riley, another rising star. This trio was a force to be reckoned with, and many fans expected them to dominate the competition. In early weeks of the FNCS, they did just that. They placed in the top 4 in nearly every trio cash cup, earning a staggering $20,000 each. Fortnite tournaments are about more than just skill, they're also about strategy, and when it came to securing the best loot, Reason's trio wasn't willing to take any chances. During the FNCS qualifiers, they found themselves contesting Doom's Domain, a mythic POI with some of the best loot the game has ever seen, but it was against another top tier trio, Benji Fishy, Lechi, and Mr. Savage. The tension between the two teams reached a boiling point. Both trios wanted to control Doom's Domain, and the competition quickly turned personal. Reason's trio, having already qualified for the weekly finals of FNCS Week 3, decided to grief Mr. Savage's team by stream sniping them. Stream sniping, for those who aren't familiar, is the practice of watching an opponent's live stream to gain an unfair advantage of where they are and what loot they have. What the f Oh no f my game just crashed. That many people landed on me, it crashed my game. By tracking Mr. Savage's movements through his stream, Reason's trio was able to sabotage their game, preventing them from qualifying. The Fortnite community was outraged. Accusations of unsportsmanlike behavior and cheating flooded social media. Aqua, one of Reason's teammates, was banned, and the trio was disqualified from FNCS. However, the ban wasn't for stream sniping, it was for leaving the game after being shaken down, a violation of Fortnite's terms of service. Uh, I gotta finish. He left the game probably. Okay, well, um... What happened? Where did Wait, you... I, you're not even allowed to him. leave the game. You're not even allowed to leave the game when you shake down. Like, what? 
Yeah, they left. They, 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 they literally they left the game. So you, so you left the game. Sniping. They're stream sniping and leaving the game. Like what? If you ask me, I don't know why that was the thing that got them banned. If anything, the stream sniping was worse. Regardless of the technicalities, the damage was done. Reason's reputation took a hit, and once again, he was forced to watch from the sidelines as another FNCS season slipped away. And you know what's starting to slip away? The subscribe button. So you better go catch it and hit it, because I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Okay, I'm sorry. That was really corny. Let's get back to the video. As the season came to an end, Reason was still dominating cash cups like usual. But when Chapter 2 Season 5's FNCS came around, the cheating allegations finally grew worse. A video was posted on YouTube accusing Reason of soft aiming. The evidence at the time looked pretty legit. Take a look for yourself. At the time, these clips looked like hardcore evidence, but Reason denied it by earnings checking him in the comments and posting a video where he said you all suck. I mean guys, are we really thinking this is the guy who is soft aiming? Come on. Bro, what? As Chapter 2 Season 5 approached, Reason found himself teaming up once again with Vadil and O'Reilly. Reason entered the FNCS Grand Finals determined to win it all. So without further ado, let's break it down. Game 1, they got 10th. Game 2, they died off spawn. Game 3, they got 8th. Then in Game 4, they pulled off a dominant win, then closing off the day with a bad last two games. At the end of Day 1, they were sitting in 5th place. They were still in the contention to lift the trophy. With a strong first half of games on Day 1, they just wanted to repeat that so they can challenge for first place in day number two. Game seven, they started off with a huge win. Game eight, they dead off spawn. Game nine, a fifth place with 10 eliminations. Game 10, they got a second place, pushing them so far up the leaderboard, approaching first. But in the last two games, they choked and they failed to have a good one. In the end, they finished in third place, earning $135,000. A career best for Reason, but still short of the ultimate prize, the FNCS trophy. For Reason, this was a bittersweet moment. On one hand, he had proven that he could compete with the best players in the world, but on the other hand, he had fallen short once again of winning the FNCS trophy. The elusive FNCS pickaxe, the symbol of victory that he just wanted so badly. Them getting third in FNCS this season meant they had an auto qualification to the next season's grand finals. So with that being said, let's break it down. In game one, they came out swinging, winning the game. But after that, they didn't break into the top 15 in a single game on the day. After day one, they were sitting in 16th place. If they wanted to redeem themselves, they needed a stellar day 2. Game 7, they went on to win the game. Game 8, they went down early. Game 9, they went on to get a 17 elimination win. And after that, they lost all momentum and didn't place within the top 10 again. But with that day 2 comeback, Reason and his trio finished in 5th place, earning them $105,000. So within the last 2 FNCSs, Reason placed 3rd and 5th, which was insanely consistent. Not only that, he shut down any cheating allegations by basically calling everybody ass. He was the real deal, and was proving himself as a top player in the world. In the following season, Taysen and Vino hit up Reason to play and he ended up trailing with them. This was looking like a god trail. So going into FNCS, they were expected to be favorites. But in the grand finals of that season, their day one didn't go so well, finishing in 13th. But on day two, they made a comeback to clutch up fifth place in grand finals yet again. But for the rest of chapter two, he wouldn't place highly in grands, only placing 14th and 16th. After being at the highest level of the game for so long, Reason's performances started to slow down. This could be because of burnout, leading him to play less, allowing other new competitors to get better than him and take his spot as at the top of Europe. And as chapter 3 came, Reason decided he was sick of not placing highly and teamed up with Fadil for that season's duo of CS. They ended up doing quite well and placing 7th in the grand finals. But after that performance, Reason started to fall off, getting 26th in Major 2 and 35th in Major 3. Then the 22 Global Invitational was here and it was the biggest event since the Fortnite World Cup. And for Reason, it was a chance to redeem himself on the world stage. But once again, things didn't go to plan. Despite his best efforts, Reason finished in 45th place, a disappointing result for someone who had once been considered one of the best players in Europe. For Reason,
reason, this was a wake up call. He knew that if he wanted to stay competing at the top, he would need to make some changes. The game was evolving and so were the players. If Reason wanted to reclaim his top spot, he would need to adapt. As chapter 4 rolled around, Reason made a bold decision. He teamed up with Janice, another top tier player in the competitive Fortnite scene. Together, they set their sights on the FNCS pickaxe. Reason knew that this was his chance to make a comeback, and he was determined to prove that he still had what it took to compete with the best. They obviously made grand finals easily, and when it came to the grand finals, they went crazy. So without further ado, let's break it down. Game 1, they got 2nd place. Game 2, they went on to win the game. Game 3, 16th place. Game 4, yet another win. Game 5, they died a storm surge. Game 6, they got 10th place. At the end of this dominant day, they were sitting in 1st by over 50 points. Reason was finally going to get his hands on that beloved FNCS pickaxe he was waiting for. But on day 2 of the grand finals, things started to unravel. Despite their massive lead, Reason and Janice began to falter. They struggled to replicate their day one success, and their lead quickly began to evaporate. In the end, they finished in third place, a result that would be impressive for most players, but for Reason, it was a bitter disappointment. He had come so close to winning, only to fall short once again. And so Reason thought he was back to his prime, but in the next grand finals, he placed 14th and then didn't make major 3's grand finals. When it came to the last chance major, Reason and Janice needed to get top 10 to qualify for the LAN event. And while they got 7th, so that meant they got to go to the global LAN event in Copenhagen. But once again, Reason didn't do well at LAN and placed 28th. Placing at LAN was his kryptonite and he was unable to pop off like he did online. So when chapter 5 came, he wanted to make sure he prepared himself for the global LAN event in Fort Worth. In major 1, he went back to playing with Vadil. When the grand finals came around, they were ready. And well, they went crazy. So let's break it down. Game 1, they got 11th. Game 2, they got 14th. Game 3, they got 3rd with 7 eliminations. Game 4, they got 7th. Then in the last 2 games, they got 15th and 16th. At the end of the day, they were sitting in the driver's seat of FNCS. This was yet again Reason's chance to finally win FNCS. But even though they won a game on day 2, they choked in every other game and finished the FNCS in 7th place. Reason seemed to be cursed on day 2. Maybe it was the nerves or just playing bad, but he couldn't catch a break. Well, Reason and Vadil stuck together throughout the whole of chapter 5 and they played very well. In major 2, they got 4th. In major 3, they got 5th, making their year together very consistent. So when it came to the global FNCS LAN in Fort Worth, people expected them to break into the top 10 or maybe even the top 5. Unfortunately for them, they placed 19th, not living up to their hype. I know most German fans wanted to see them do well at LAN and so did I, but LAN tournaments seem to be Reason's kryptonite. Now that I'm thinking about it, being good at home but not on LAN sounds kind of fishy. Maybe the cheating allegations were true. I guess we'll never know. As for Reason's future, I'm sure he will keep playing and streaming to Twitch. I mean, shit, I would keep playing Fortnite too if I was that good to place consistently and with his Fortnite map making him ungodly amount of cash. Like, come on, it's literally a 1v1 map and it made him, I'm going to throw up, no way that actually says 1.1 million dollars. Wow, that's crazy. So I think it's safe to say Reason is probably not going anywhere. Anyways, that is going to be the end of the video and if you guys did enjoy this one, be sure to check out another like the video on screen on how an unknown player became Fortnite's best fighter because I'm sure you'll enjoy that one too. With that being said, I'll see you in the next one.